What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess, High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy, you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is a, it's not really a love reading. It's more like a, it's a channeling I received. Uh, it's more like a breakup. I'm assuming it's upcoming breakup energy. Um, I'm not sure why I'm receiving this because a lot of y'all know a lot of, um, I've been getting a lot of future channelings, so things that are upcoming future channelings, which is good because I feel like it helps the collective be aware of upcoming things, absolutely. Um, I think it's very wonderful. Um, this sounds, um, so I'm not sure why I'm receiving this is what I'm trying to say, but I am. It's at least for one of you guys out in the universe and it's relevant for at least one of you guys out in the universe in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, but it sounds like upcoming breakup energy. Um, but according to the channeling, they're not really together. It's more like a sexual relationship. So you plug it in how it resonates. Just saying, just saying. Okay. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take their messages to resonate. Free journal, collective reading, caps to side to everybody in between. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Okay, so the channeling I received was a, <clears throat> a Virgo and a Cancer Pisces Scorpios relationship. I heard Virgo masculine and uh, feminine, Cancer Pisces Scorpio feminine, heavy Cancer energies. Re um, relationship, sexual relationship is about to fall apart to pieces. Because um, the Cancer Pisces Scorpio with heavy Cancer placements, I'm presuming, um is very 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 um highly jealous of a leo of a virgo's past that is what i heard um i'm not sure why i'm getting this in but i am so you plug it in how it resonates in your own life we've got two people in here it sounds like upcoming like i said it's not to me it's not breakup energy because i heard a sexual relationship i didn't hear they were fiancés i didn't hear they were spouses i didn't hear they were dating I didn't hear they were together. I heard sexual relationship. So I think it's like a hidden F buddy thing or a situationship or maybe even a third party for some of these masculine Virgos and um, Femme, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Feminine Energies. I heard with heavy Cancer placement. So it's a definite water sign. Uh, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter. But heavy cancer placements, I think they have two or more cancer placements somewhere in their charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Wolf, Moon, Midham, or Jupiter with heavy cancer placements. But that's the fem energy. But I heard um, the apparently the feminine cancer Pisces Scorpio with heavy cancer in their chart in some shape, form, or fashion knows about a Leo fem of a Virgo's past. So... Whoever this Leo Fem is, I think he was sexually connected to her in some shape, form, or fashion. It could have been a girlfriend. It could have been fiance. It could have been a wife, um, an ex-spouse, or it could have been a situationship, a third party, a secret relationship, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates, but it is a Leo feminine of the Virgo's past. There's a reason this Cancer Pisces Scorpio Fem is very heavily jealous of her, is what I'm trying to say. I think it's because they used to be together sexually. Or they used to date, or they used to be engaged, or they used to be married. But I think it was on a romantic scale. It wasn't platonic like friends is what I'm trying to say. There's a reason she's heavily jealous of her. But I heard it's a person of his past. So I don't think this Leo Femme is like getting, butting in between their sexual, relation, their sexual relationship. I don't think she's like a third party or trying to take him away, which is very immature. But um you know, or anything like that. But I heard it's about to, um, it's, it is about to cause chaos. And this Virgo masculine is about to get a huge, huge, huge wake up call. About to make huge changes. Even though he doesn't want to. Very heavily sexually addicted. Oh my God. You plug it. Why am I getting this? I have no idea, but. Maybe it's going to help this Virgo masculine possibly out there. This is what I'm presuming. There's a reason why I'm getting this channeling. But um, anyway, so I heard this Virgo masculine. So you Virgo masculine, that's who I feel I'm talking to here. 
or the crazy Cancer Pisces Scorpio with heavy Cancer placements. Just saying. Um, but I feel I'm mainly talking to you, Virgo Masculine. Heard you're about to get a huge wake-up call and make huge changes in your life, even though you don't want to because you're heavily sexually addicted. So whoever you are, Virgo Masculine, you have heavy sex addictions um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but you don't want to make the changes. I think I think you want to keep her around for sex, obviously, because you have heavy sex addictions. Um, but it sounds like she's a karmic energy to you. <laughs> I didn't hear that. That's just my deductive reason and logic. I mean, I heard complete chaos about the breakout. So, you know, she has no qualms, obviously, about... She has no qualms. It sounds like she's cool about to cause this um, chaos. It sounds like she's cool about to cause this chaos. Anybody that causes any kind of chaos and intentionally is okay causing chaos and strife and heartache and blocking energy in one's life, whether it's career, love, sex, money, what have you, that is karmic energy. Just FYI, Virgo Masculine, or anybody else viewing this. Um, so she she obviously is a karmic energy. I didn't hear that, but she, she just obviously, obviously is, because I heard complete chaos about the breakout. And she's not going to care. Know this. Okay, I heard she's not going to care. Know this. So she's not going to care if complete chaos is about to break out. Um, sounds like she might cause the complete chaos. Is what I'm feeling. But she is very, very heavily jealous over this Leo film in your past here, Virgo. Very heavily jealous. Um, I hope she doesn't try to go to this Leo film's house because if the Leo film was smart, she'd be calling the police in a New York minute. Just saying, just saying. Um, but she's going to cause complete chaos in your life or this, or try to attempt to cause it in the Leo film's life or both. But she's not going to care, I heard. But I heard you're going to get a huge wake up call either soon or I'm assuming soon or you already have, and you're about to make huge changes in your life, even though you don't want to, because you're very heavily sex addicted. So she might, she might be a succubus. I'm sorry, not, um, yeah, a succubus. She might be a succubus. Have an evil, dark entity, sex demon attached to her, possibly. I'm thinking she might be a freaking succubus, man. Just saying, just saying. If you don't know what a succubus is, Virgo Masculine, or anybody else cross-watching this, you can Google succubus on Google. It will tell you what a succubus is. Succubus are the female entities that basically go around having sex with people to gain energy and make them go up and make you go down. You, it could cause sickness. It can cause STDs. It can cause um, health problems. It can cause depression. Um, and I'm just being for real about that. And incubus are the masculine energies. But I feel she's a succubus. I didn't hear that, but I feel she is. Because um, she's not going to care. She's going to cause complete chaos. And she loves to have sex just as much as you do. But there's a reason. So if you notice that she's always like, like she has tons of energy after you have sex. And you're just like, maybe a little wake up call there. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Um, because I feel she might heavily feel she might be a succubus. Uh, of course, you know your story and I don't. I am just the messenger from the spiritual realm. So you have to plug it in. However it resonates, if it resonates in your life, Virgo masculine. You can have Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, fourth day, midheaven, or Jupiter charts. You plug it in however it resonates, if that resonates for you. Let me see if I hear anything else. I don't really feel guided to pull in. Yeah, I do, actually. I feel guided to pull at least one of these for some reason. Yeah, we're going to pull one of these. But it's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Femme, Energy, Virgo masculine. Heavy cancer placement. So maybe you know her um, birthday to get her sun sign. Or maybe you know her placements, possibly. Um, it depends how well you know this can um ooh, I just I just want to say cancer. Maybe she well, I heard heavy cancer placements, so yeah. You plug it in how it resonates um to determine her other placements, but she definitely has cancer Pisces or Scorpio or two or more cancer placements in her charts. And her sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, Midham, or Jupiter. I strongly feel succubus energy. I do, I do, I do. Who? Spirit messages you have for the collective. I feel glad I did get one more. We have focus, reverse, creation, upright. 
Chair Messages, you have a question. Okay. Focus reverse creation upright and fold me upright blessings upright is what we got. Focus reverse. This person is heavy karmic energy to you. You're about to wake up and realize this. Okay, I heard this person is heavy karmic energy to you. You're about to wake up and realize this. So um, this Cancer Pisces Scorpio femme energy that loves sex, possible succubus energy, um, and you sex addicted Virgo, whoever you are, masculine. Creation upright. For some, she is pregnant. For some, she's trying to get pregnant. Know this. Oh my God. Oh, so it's a, for at least two of you Virgos and the uh, masculines in the universe. For some of you guys, she's already pregnant. For some, she's trying to get pregnant. Okay. So let's skirt back for a second. Okay. For some, she's already pregnant. So you're, you're already stuck with her for 18 years. Um, either through child support or whether you choose to support her or have her live with you. It doesn't sound like a very healthy person to live with, but everybody has free will. For some of you guys, She's already pregnant, so stuck with her 18 years for child support at least. For some, she's trying to get pregnant. For the ones where she's trying to get pregnant, or you feel this might resonate with you, maybe there's been poked holes in condoms. Maybe she's like, oh, baby, we don't need a condom tonight. And no child, uh, no birth control. Just saying, just saying. Um, I would be careful. I would be careful. Careful, careful, careful. I feel succubus energy up in this biatch. And I'm serious. Creation upright. This is pregnancy. Either already pregnant, gestation, and created in the womb. Or trying to create in the womb. Oh my goodness. Unfoldment. For some, you don't know she's pregnant yet, and for some, it's not your child. You really, really, really need to um, have a test done. Okay, I heard for some of you guys, um, she's already pregnant and you don't know. But for some of you guys, it's not your child. I heard it'd be very smart to get a test done. So for some, she's pregnant. For some, she's trying to get pregnant. For some, she's already pregnant you don't know. And for some, it's not your kid. I heard to be very smart to get a test done. If you feel the story resonates with you, basically. Unfoldment of events, I think, is her trying to the ones that you don't know she's pregnant. Or maybe the ones you do know she's pregnant. Maybe the unfoldment of events is you going to get a test done. Or having her get a test done. Um, paternity test. Um, I feel paternity test energy in here. I think the unfoldment of events is paternity test energy. Um, even the ones that already know she's pregnant, if you feel, suspect this might resonate with you, out, paternity, it never hurts to get a paternity test. It never does. I mean, especially if you know they're highly sexually active. I heard it's a sexual relationship between you and her. So, it's not any kind of true commitment is what I'm feeling here. I feel it's you do you, I do you, do me, and we just come together and act like rabbits for four hours. Just saying, just saying. Um, energy I'm feeling. I'm serious. Um, so I feel unfoldment of events is paternity test energy for some. For some, I feel it is um, the chaos energy that she's about to create on you, whether she's pregnant or not pr pregnant, for some. Um, for some, I feel it is um, her telling you she's pregnant, and then maybe you're going to get a paternity test for some. For some, I feel the unfoldment of events is the breaking off of the sexual relationship for some. But some kind of unfoldment of events energy in your life with this Cancer Pisces Scorpio heavy cancer placement femme energy. 
Virgo masculine. Blessings. You are going to initiate these unfoldment of events after chaos breaks out. It's going to be the best blessing in your life. Intuitively, you know this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I heard you're going to, um, you're going to initiate the unfoldment of events after the chaos breaks out in your life. I'm surprised we didn't get the chaos card out in here with this deck. Um, I'll show it to you for anybody who doesn't know. Um, but I heard you're going to initiate it after the chaos starts breaking out in your life, but it sounds like she's going to initiate the chaos or help initiate the chaos in your life. That's exactly what it sounds like. Well, volatility is like the chaos card. I think that's it in here. Um, yeah, volatility. Um, which is the chaos card in here. But, um, but I heard you initiating these um, events, these series unfoldment and series of chain events, basically, is going to be the best thing that ever happened to you um, in this situation. So I think it's you separating from this person or getting a paternity test or, um, or something of that nature. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly what I think. And I heard it's going to cause huge blessings in your life. So I think some you're going to separate from this person. Some you're going to give paternity tests. Some it's not even your kid. Um, and you're going to find out the truth. You're going to find out the truth because possible succubus energy over here is about to cause some craziness. Just saying, just saying. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys. I hope this helped. Love you guys so much. Namaste.